hop back in there. I technically have 65 hours of playtime. Don't know how accurate that is. Probably a lot of waiting on the start screen, because I think it tells you how much you've been playing when you load up. Yeah, I probably left the game on for a day or something. I think when we finish the game, we'll be at about probably 75 hours. That'd be my guess, which is way too long. I mean, I, I wasted a lot of time trying to look for that Dark Justicier temple, and it turns out I just needed to go up, which kind of stinks. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see the gameplay. I hope. I hope it's still set to full screen. I would suck if it wasn't. If it wasn't, I would probably just continue from where I'm at. Because I don't want to go back a whole hour or whatever. I could maybe speed run it at some point. So yeah, we were going to the last light in. I wonder if any of my characters have invisibility. I'd like to steal from this girl, if I can. Like, steal her outfit. That'd be cool. Let's try- let's try it and see what happens. Did she move? No, she's still there. This calls for careful footwork. Nope. If everyone else minds their business, last light fine. indeed. Okay. <clears throat> God, blood, this is heavy. For a good cause. What was the parchment we stole? Our asses. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Burning through our oil, but it should just about do. How do you s just about? Just about. We shouldn't hang around too long, though. See any movement out there? Too dark to tell. I bet they're close. Watching us. We receive reports of increased cult activity near Last Light. There are larger groups than ever moving through the area. If they're gathering strength, we need to know. Take your unit and patrol the hills to the east. Observe and report back only. Do not engage unless you have no other choice. Watch yourself out there. Watch the shadows, Shahira. Okay. Blast light indeed. There's more where that came from. Wish we had stone or steel. <laughs> I wish we had a bloody army. That's a friendly looking shadow. Let's, let's stop that. I thought it let us hide, but I guess not. There's probably just too many people hiding. She probably would have been fine on her own. I gotta remember to separate people. <laughs> I wish we had a bloody army. Hide successful, hide failed. Right, it's not worth hiding. It's really not. I 
I was hoping I could steal, like, clothes or anything. Uh, maybe in a future game they can allow that. Oh. True soul, I believe. How fortunate we are to have you among us. Yes. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Cheeky. But, since you're asking... Eric's magic won't hold up the doctor. I don't know what she gave us, Haggis. I have no clue what she gave me. For a good cause. <clears throat> Our asses. I, I don't even. Okay, she gave me something. That's all I got. Whatever she gave me is weighing me down, huh? I think. See any movement out there? Too dark to tell. I bet they're close. Watching us. I think she might have given me all these. The bewildering adventures pack. I, I not entire I'm not entirely sure. I think she might have given me. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Burning through our oil, but it should just about do. Just about? Just about. We shouldn't hang around too long, though. Yeah. There's more where that came from. Wish we had stone or steel. <laughs> I wish we had a bloody army. Still over encumbered. Among the Sharans dwelled the gnome, Yali, It'll need to. whose talents for wizardry were Clarence known from Candlekeep to Sorcerer. Under his tutelage, the Sharans built the Great Forge, which could heat Mithril with such vigor as to turn it into adamantite. Um, with this astonishing metal, they uh, could mold the finest blades in armor. Yet the jewel of Yali's eye was not the forge itself, but the protector uh, he conjured from the magma to guard it, a construct said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spell could pierce it. God's blood, this is heavy. Okay. It's for a good cause. Just, ugh, I don't know what to do. I, our asses. So these are the heaviest things that she's got. She's got like 30 of these potions. Why don't I give these to Karlak? Now she's not encumbered. Take a stroll, have a drink. Enjoy them while you can. Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. That's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our part. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get.
Want me to shine your boots while I'm at... Easy. A bit on edge, Mike. Not that you'll give a triple shot, damn. But we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and mm. made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. Oh, no. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a God's damned counselor to get room and board around here. So she's in one of the chambers in there. Aha! Uh -huh. Thought I sensed an infernal. Yay. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I reckon. Trying to stay out of the shadows. Hold on! I know you! The weaponsmith, right? Drafted into the blood war when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Well done making it out alive. Same to you. Though unless my senses deceive me, you brought a bit of the hells back with you. Infernal engine? Yes. Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out a piston ring. Or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Yes. Please do. I've been dying to find an infernal mechanic. Now that's hot. Too hot. I think I could sort you out. But I'll need some infernal iron and a lot of luck. We got that. Hey, soldier. We've got some infernal iron already. Let's give it to him, eh? Yes. Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... Took you like two seconds, yay. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now. But I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Let me sleep on it. I just might be able to work something out. Hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. I'll need more infernal iron either way, though. So keep your eyes open. Take care. Did he use all of our infernal iron or just some of it? Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. Oh, cool. We'll talk to him in a second. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Oh, fuck yes. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost...
Come on. There's an invitation behind its great brown eye. I need to be able to talk to you. Do you have the talk to animal skill? Somebody's gotta have it, right? Do I have to go grab what's his face? I think I gotta grab what's his face. All right, let's grab him real quick. We should be okay. In it. As long as we go to camp and just come right back, we should be okay. All right, so who are we putting to the side? I guess the Gacanthi or whatever. Even though they're the most helpful. Where, sh where is the Gacanthi? Greeting. Chuck. You believe you can survive without me. As you say. Where is he? Alright, where's the guy? Where are ya? No, no, no. Hmm. Wow, they're, like, all the way over here. Well met. That's... The shadow curse is upon us. But, with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the shadow curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness, but one I couldn't do without. Thank you. Prudent, but I hope we don't have to contend with the perils of the curse for long. There is more to living than just survival. Much more. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being, in the form of a young fae boy, with the forest itself in his eyes. Hmm. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations. But since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Mm. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. Okay. Makes sense. Sharp as ever. Now, can he actually level up? He can't level up. I'm like what? I don't I don't get him. He's got all this experience, but he doesn't level up. All right. What now? Or have like levels. All right, we need the dang guy to speak to him. Sharp as ever. What the heck? What's he doing up here? What are you doing on the roof? How do you even get up here? I mean, I could jump off probably, but like, is there anything cool up here? How do you even do that? Go 
they can jump up. He'll get hurt jumping down, though. That kind of sucks. No, I did not mean to pick that up. No, still incapable. Not for you to know. Uh, you're the oxen met back in the grove. You're very hungry then. I saved you all and now you have food. Or you're rare breed and authentic. I thought you'd be more discerning. Uh, let's try nature. Damn it. I said. Scurry on now. I admire you all I want. And we messed up. Dang it. Alive, so that's progress. Premium trinkets and doodads. You're right, hard. No, still incapable. Not for you to know. Nice, he crushed it that time. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. Good little hero. Shadowhunter proofs. Scurry on now. I admire your ability to graciously suffer the frustration of your desire. Toodaloo. I've got a long road ahead. Shadowheart approved of that. So I'm just going to stick with it, I guess? I don't know. I assume we'll meet that ox again. Jahir is godsend in the flesh. Pleasure to have you. You look well equipped. Good. You wouldn't believe the state of some of these lads. Is anyone keeping on that might be worth a look. Yeah, I wonder if the girl that was supposed to uh, write a story about us wrote a story or song about us. Or if she's dead. I don't you know. need something? Ask Jahira. I'm on duty. As you were.
this doesn't count as theft? Interesting. is interrupted. It's literally right there. What the heck? Killed the spider web. What? <sighs> Try to remember what what destroys spider web. Maybe flames? Flashing, no. Piercing, yes. Necrotic, yes. Alright, let's try piercing then. There we go. A smoke powder uh, barrel. Da, da, da. Mm. If rags do anything. Oh wow, she is over encumbered. I guess because she's got all this stuff on her. Uh learn. Oh, but I was supposed to use the smoke powder thing to open this. Well, duh. <laughs> it is weak to piercing, though. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Says it's weak to piercing. I don't know how true that is. Yeah, it's two damage. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Faster, but that's okay. What the heck is this place? Is that the curse or is that something else? Careful! Those are mean locks. They see best in the dark. A light source can blind them. Uh... 
Yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, at least right now, I don't know about facing these enemies. Maybe we should have snuck, snuck in here? Probably should have snuck. Oh yeah, what about that, the light bomb? I can throw that at them. Maybe blind them. Uh, who has the light bomb? Do you have one? Acid, lightning, darkness. It says it's a disadvantage. That's interesting. That's also a disadvantage. They're just good against all all types of magic. Uh Let's go. No holding back. This is gonna feel good. Forever dauntless. Why is it a disadvantage? I just don't get that.
inside then. How do you miss? How do you miss throwing a bomb? Like the bomb went there. How did it how did it miss? It's like why why even make the heart light bomb if it's not gonna hit? I do. Should try to hit as many enemies as possible or heal as many of us as possible. Uh, I smell blood. She changes weapon, it's not gonna do what you'd like to do. That lightning attack was real powerful. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? I guess not quite, but he's close to death. So close to death. Dang it. I don't know what to do. It says disadvantage. What are they weak to? What are they weak to? Resistance is none, but nothing's working. Yes. Let's see him push him. I mean, he can hit him with shatter, but he's gonna he's gonna hit us too, so I don't know. Running out. But he's not dead yet. Oh, 
the hell? Do, do, do your attack. What's the uh, plan? Okay. Really want her to heal everybody, but I don't think she can. Oh, this guy's got like full health. Alright. Regret that. To let up. It seemed like it would have hit, and then it ended my turn, which was a little weird. Um. I'm heating up. What weapon's the best one? Seven to seventeen. No holding back. Carlac, just kill this freaking thing. What are you doing? Ah, she would have killed it too. Over cow. Covert cow. How often are you obscured? I'll keep my other thing on.
All right, so we took care of business there. It might have cost us a short rest, but... I mean, we'll probably be doing a lot of full rests coming up. The Salunite Shrine, hidden away. Perhaps they had no choice but to hide. I have concealed the sacred relics of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive regime of Kethric Thorm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together, we shall preserve what we can in the Moon Maiden's light and hope that the banners of the faithful soon rise against the treacherous dog, Thor. Investigate the Selunite Resistance. Selunite Resistance. Okay. Here's a new quest. Uh, let's, yeah, let's grab a bunch of things we can send back. Problem is, like, I don't like, can we fish? Like, I don't... Some of these things I, like, I don't even know if we can use them. No, sort them by weight. Here we go. I'll give that to, um... I don't want to give it to Will, though. Dang it. Why are you here, Will? So not to camp. Don't burn yourself. A long way to go still. Portrait of a snowy brown beard. Let's uh, sort by latest. Take a look at these. Bundled in heavy satins and a frumpy hat, this noble fixes the observer with an anxious eye over a mustache beard combination of auburn whitening to snow. Snowy brown beard. The artist has exaggerated the points of the ears, which seem to cut the canvas dark like pale knives. The garb of his eminent of this eminent man is beautiful, poised, and utterly indicative of means. Oval framed elven eminence. I don't like where do wares go? I wish you could pick up and send to camp. Don't have a freaking thing. Is that blood? Okay. No, never mind. I'm ready. Heart, Whatever him, it takes. Give him a torch. Defender of the people. Whatever comes, I'm ready. The 
Idol of Salem. Never a dull moment. Dear Selunite, our, uh, Selune, our fair maiden, weave our hearts with threads of silk, guide us with the light of moon, and quench us with the purest of tears. Shadows taunt us, hear our prayer. Shadows stalk us, hear our prayer. Shadows wound us, hear our prayer. Selune, thou with radiant loom, mend our hearts with threads of silver, heal us with drops of morning dew, and soothe our souls with softest starlight. Even know. I don't want to add it to my wares. I want to send it to camp. So, yeah, there's a whole area down there, but I don't think we want to explore it yet. Now is not the time. Went in here because we broke this thing. I think these crates are mostly just for show. Yeah, I wanted to open that and not the dang chest that's like right there in front of me. Interesting. The pride of the gate. Detention key. Ooh. Selun guides us. Blah 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 blah. Who's in detention, I wonder? Oh, that used the key? Pick up that dang bucket. Alright, I'm gonna save before I use the detention key again. gotta be something here like there's gotta be a reason why we're here right
Where am I needed? No one stopped me yet. There was another book. I'm gonna go try to find it. The Harpers are a secretive organization whose main purpose is the preservation of all things good and right in the world. The Harpers outfox every evil at every turn with shrewd fighting or cunning political maneuvers. And though they are not well organized, how could they be with many members utterly ignorant of the identity of those they might claim as allies? They are united in purpose and one goal. One Harper agent deployed correctly in a conflict often achieves the same result as a loose arm. Interesting. Yeah, there was another book that I didn't pick up, like here in this area. I don't think I grabbed it. Maybe I did. Maybe it was the maybe it was the book we just read. Open up. Why do those rags look different than a lot of other rags? Cage doors, the chests, crate. But I want the frumpy hat. There's a lot more to explore down here. We gotta remember to come back here. Um, <clears throat> when we finish with everything else. Now let's go back up top. Last light's best bargains right here. Oh, where's she? I need to talk to her. I I feel like this cutscene coming up, so I'm gonna save. Looks empty. Poor Jonas. Kid was as green as they come. Mm. He was joking this morning. Jonas, I mean. Was always joking. He said it was good for morale, but he just liked seeing people laugh. He was a good harper. A good friend. We were comrades in arms. I thought we could have been something more. 
one day, but <laughs> too late now. You'll get over it. Hey, it'll be all right. I don't know. And I never will. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone. A tragic love. Take a look at the journal. A tragic love. Let's see if we can't find that. Is it? it said a tragic love, right? Alright, I'm being stupid, I just do not see it. He'll get over it. I'm just gonna steal all this stuff, don't mind me. This might be the... of flying. Oh, well, that's cool. Is anyone keeping an eye on the elf Well, I'm gonna investigate this a little bit. There's a book here. In the time of allegiances between elven gods and with the 
adulation of the Shadar Kai Elves in her pocket, the woman bid her followers elevate her to godhood. Do it and I'll reforge our broken pantheon, she said. Do it and I'll make things sweet and synchronous again. And they did, all but the dissenters in her avid flock, who during the ri ritual of godly ascension tried to wrest power from the woman. At the crucial moment, she tore the dissenters apart, but the ritual irrevocably disturbed the queen and her Shadar Kai found themselves flung across the plains and into the airy and terrible realm called the Shadowfell. The journey killed her, yet from her corrupted ashes, she rose a queen with both her eyes and her serving birds as uh, dark as her ambitions. So was born the Raven Queen, mistress of life and death. That's some info on the Shadowfell, right? Mistress of life and death. I was, I was up down. <laughs> I was thinking of jumping, Premium but... Freak. I think we're going in. I think it's time. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Last light's best bargains, right here! The pride of the gate. What to do? Pre as you are, this is no time for a natter. See that bear in the corner? Darkmoor the Wicked? I don't believe it. I have a gander. His territory ran from the Wood of Sharp Teeth to Cloakwood. It took half an army to drive him out. How did he end up here? It looks like he might be alive still. Aww. Trinkets and doodars. There's no time to waste. <sighs> the trolls report more activity among the cultists, Mom. Preparing to march, I wager. Okay. Welcome to our humble. Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. <laughs> I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. Ever heard of the Blade of Frontiers, kid? If you like monster smashing, you might be a fan of his work. Who's that? A lovely chap. Didn't kick ass in the Blood War, but that's neither here nor there. That's true, but he never got kidnapped by a devil either. Uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Look, forget about us big grudges and bruises. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. Mind In that style. case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ah. Ah. Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? I hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Last light! Check it out! We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. No. There we go. I mean, maybe. <laughs> hmm. I guess it is kind of old. Here. Birds of a feather. Yay. Don't be shy. Have a oh, gander at the finest stock. We need to talk. Power shaped key. Please. Be welcome. Oh. To your very good health. I didn't mean to talk to her. Go back. I don't want to talk to her because it's probably going to advance the story. I don't want to do that yet. I don't know how much longer I'm going to play. Probably not much. I want to talk to whoever it is that sets the other quest in motion. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap, only for me to land them in this one. Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed, out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. But... Yes. They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. It's hard to tell. We were alone in the darkness one moment, surrounded the next. This army of the Absolute is growing and flowing towards Moonrise. There's worse than goblins on the roads now. I thought we might pass unnoticed along the fringes of this place, escape the Owlbear by hiding in its shadow, so to speak. You can see exactly how well that went. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Oh, you're all right, thank goodness. Hey. I was worried they got you too. Honestly, terribly. I still can't believe it. The cultists. The screams. Roland of all people. Saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. And I'm damn glad of it. Without him. Well, none of us would be here. Yes. He shielded me and the kids. While his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? There's no greater thrill of me than the hunt. You're made of sterner stuff than me, then. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask, 
But the others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Maybe. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. You've enough on your plate. No, I'll, I'll find Just them. Be careful up there. Watch yourself out. Last light's back. It's right here. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. I heard you weren't taking it. So well. Cute. Maybe she'll write a ballad about me. Maybe. She can leave out the part where my brother and sister were dragged away screaming while I was saving the orphans. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass, Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. No, no. Dang, I feel like we messed up real bad. Let's redo these conversations if we can. I feel like we doubly messed up. Because I should have asked them where they were. Instead of saying, oh, I'll go out and save them. You'd be Sarah, a pity. You pulled them from one death trap and gone. We were amber. They were those of us who cut free, just kept running till we found this. Oh, I thought we might pass on. You can see exactly how well that went. Zev, but oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. On it, I still can't roll. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Yes, Callan, how do you do it? How do you keep going? You're made. You've done. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there. Smile suits you better. Oh, did I even talk to this guy yet? Oh, dang. In the market for something special? I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? I don't have a cloak. I absolutely need that. Did I take it from him? What was that? Did we just pay for it? Pleasure. Premium trinkets and doodars! Oh. Is it reflected on me? Oh, it is. Oh, look at that. Finally. The Je Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I... She can... 
if you hadn't filled their heads with all... Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who were taken. Cult's tower. Sorry, won't bring. You go save the world. I don't need your help, and I. So no matter what, he's gonna try to save them. Okay. Joy, have a gander. Fine, stop. Good to see you're still breathing. Much longer must I languish here. I'd hope to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day, but that blasted toll housekeeper won't accept my papers. When Father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like they have something to hide. Shrines to the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hope to learn more about Catherick Thorm, the village's leader. The talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. Stand. What was that ring we just picked up? Oh, she's got invisibility. I gotta remember that. Momentum. Okay. What am I to do? Oh, I could go for a good meal. She doesn't even have another ring. Premium right. trinkets and doodars. Lights. There is work to do. I don't think he, any of these people have cold damage. Wanna dance? I'll put it on her, but she does not do cold. Kitty. Yeah. I think he could still talk to this. Hiss. I say hiss. I see. Yes, perhaps you're right. <laughs> I call myself His Majesty. Fine. How did you manage to get to this place? Or anything interesting around here? Plenty of pointless banging about. The only highlight was when the cleric here promised me a bit of milk that is yet to materialize. Mm. My conclusion? She's a liar. <laughs> it was quite straightforward. I slinked. I'd rather die. Dang. A noble feline. Let's move. Interesting. Mm. 
Watch yourself out. If this is about Roland, go away! My mum always said a drink's the most important meal of the day. Take your pick. Something. Dang. Should talk to him about Roland. I tried. Dang it. I should talk to him about Roland. I might call it here. We still have to talk to one more person in this area. The um, person that has a lead on um, Will's dad. I think there. I think there's a person here with that. Hiss! I say hiss! I see. Yes. I call myself fine. I'd rather die. It was quite splint. My conclusion? Yes, we did have to do that again. No time to rest. Roland, go away! He acts like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. And now we're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. Yeah. He did save us after all. Anyway, it's his loss. I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. It's for Roland. <sighs> Fine. He'll probably hate it anyway. Here. Anyway, I'm sick of to- Okay, what is the way of the wanderer? Let's take a look at it. How to convey that which I know deep within myself to be true, that which could uh, I could bring each of you reading these words into this head of mine, the heart of mine, failing as one. Perhaps then I could speak what words fail to describe. That home isn't home unless you're far from home. That love isn't love unless it unleashes that the sky is infinitely big, as long as you can always see it. Do I make sense? I think not. But perhaps the parapetetic pattern of these words can create some rhythm approximating the joy of feet on the road would not but everything ahead I don't need your help and I want to give him a book I tried to I feel like that was not worth uh, <laughs> taking from the kid premium trinkets and doodars uh... I don't know. Alright, let's quit out. I'll probably undo that tomorrow. See ya.